Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show a um, a new f something new that I found. And it was um, through a Facebook group or something. I saw this. and um, So anyways, let me get to it. Um, oh, before I um, do that though, this pattern right here is called... Oh boy, I don't have it in front of me. Oh, Barrel Roll. And I... Um, I have a video. I just made a video. If you haven't caught that yet, I will link it in the end screen at the end of this video if you want to learn how to draw that pattern right there. So anyways, uh, here I started a drawing and I here I'm starting on my shading. I'm not done yet, obviously. And I did not shade with the traditional, you know, how we all shade with these blending stumps. I didn't use that. What I used was these and they're called doodle sticks by imagine i think the company's name is i'm going to link this in the description box below they all co it comes in a pack of five and i think they're they're meant for like mixed media like paint and mixing or you know i'm not exactly sure and i have so you can tell i've been shading there the tips are dirty um but it comes right off because it's like a silicone tip and it's kind of you know you can press down a little bit but it just comes right off so I did all of the shading here with these and I love them <laughs> I really I want to try them first before I recommended them and I love that they're you know they're full size instead of this little thing that I tend to really go through really you know I push down too hard I ruin them I bend them and oh so um these are more money, but they're going to last and last and last. I can't, you know, these are going to last forever, I would assume. And I just, I like them even better than paper stumps. I'm going to show an example here. So I'm using just a regular HB drawing pencil. I haven't tried anything else besides, and you know, that's a standard run-of-the-mill um, pencil. And um, this tip right here is great for getting in really tight spots. But maybe I'll just take this one first and I just kind of blend it like this, like I'm painting and push down just slightly and just kind of mix it in there and blend it. And then I can go in and, you know, I can erase that. I kind of, I'm doing this very, very quickly. And you just kind of mix it and mix it until you're happy with the smoothness of it. It will mix. I mean, I'm still blending it. It's still blending. You just kind of push down like this. And I'm very much a perfectionist, so I can get right in there and really blend the pencil into the paper really good. And I like that. So, um, I'll do it again. I'll do it right here. It looks like I'm starting here. So, I'll add a little bit of, I never blended there yet. But I'm going to do it in camera so you know, you see that I'm not doing anything special. And, so I added some pencil and I'm just going to push down a little bit. And see, it even takes the, it's taking it way into there. If that's how you like to shade, you can really blend very well with these different tips. And then I can go in with that and um, I can add more to darken it around this area right here. And just blend a little bit in those corners like that so see it does it works these things are really cool and I just thought I'd share this with you guys in case some of you haven't seen these yet I hadn't um, until I ordered them so I hope um, you know maybe this helps somebody someone like me that I have arthritis in my hands and anything like this is better than holding this for me because of the, you know, I'm like this, and now I can hold it much lighter, and I like this, oops, <laughs> I like this much better, I can even 
go way over here, which is better for me than right up here for my hands. So, anyways, I'm babbling in this video. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. I usually post about once or twice a week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.